Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, April 23rd, 2015. Okay, existing home sales yesterday, eh, a little bit better than expected. And petroleum status report, well, I thought you might want to take a look at this chart. Is that, oh man, I don't know if that's good or bad, I really don't know, but we seem to have a lot of oil inventory so I think we can weather anything that may happen overseas so for today we have jobless claims uh, PMI manufacturing index flash and new home sales which is different than existing home sales of course and then the only thing on Friday is durable goods orders so like I mentioned before kind of a light week all right, let's take a look across the ponds. Asia were mixed, few up, few down, and in Europe, mostly bearish. And uh, I didn't really see anything that popped at me as far as interesting articles are concerned here. So that being said, that being that, I guess you might say, uh, looking at the features here in the U.S., uh, this is the E.S., this is uh, what's happened overnight. So trading on the E.S., I believe, begins at 6 o'clock Eastern Time, Eastern Daylight Time, Eastern Time, I don't, I don't know, 5.30, 6 o'clock, I'm not sure which. Uh, so, anyway, uh, yesterday it was um, fairly decent day. It was, made me pretty happy since I'm mostly positive Delta at this time. Um, what else we got going on here? It looks like um, a possible gap down here with the regular exchanges this morning. The cash exchanges. Uh, gold at 11.86. It uh, took a digger yesterday. Kind of a surprise there. Uh, oils 56.95 and there's an article saying something about oils coming down because of huge inventory I uh, don't see it I don't see it in gas prices uh, DX the dollar is at 98.3 and a dollar seven against the euro so not much changes there. Let's go over to the monitor tab. Yesterday entered this Costco trade. I don't know if I entered a little bit early or not. I'm not sure. Um, here it is. Here's the trade here in the spreadsheet. The two of them. The short's at 146. We'll take a look at that on the chart when we get to it. I added this notes field over here. And I did add this Priceline uh, trade in here as well, which you didn't see before. So if we go back over to the weekly tab, it's over here. And we are almost got our head poked above water here for the year <laughs> after those couple of devastating months. Shouldn't trade when I'm on vacation in Florida. That's all I got to say. Maybe I'll learn that one of these years. Okay, so um, that's that. And we'll start out with Apple and take a look at the charts here and see what's going on here. So, okay, so uh, some good news about the Apple Watch, apparently. I heard, read something about it. That they think they're going to sell more than they originally forecasted or I don't know something I don't know maybe the government's giving everybody a thousand dollars so they can buy one of these things I, I don't know I don't know but if they gave me a thousand dollars I would not buy an Apple watch <laughs> uh, yeah I would not buy that I don't know what I'd buy if I had a thousand dollars to uh, completely 100% discretionary. I don't know what I would do. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a whole heck of a lot of money. It's not like as though you could buy a car or anything or, you know, that's probably what I would do with completely discretionary money. Um, if somebody just gave it to me and said, go ahead and spend it. 
they gave me 30 grand, I'd probably buy a car because you know, the, a car is nothing but a depreciating asset anyway, so I burn the money on that. I wouldn't save it because I wouldn't make anything. <laughs> uh, never mind, I'm way off here and there. Okay, so Apple, we have earnings coming up. Uh, Amazon, uh, they did have earnings. No, not 4.23 after the market. So they're tonight. Uh, Baidu is next week. Chipotle had their earnings. Boing. Um, yeah, they're saying that uh, revenue's down a little bit. Uh, even though earnings per share is up, uh, revenue is down, so it means that expenses weren't what they were, but they're saying that they're not seeing a lot of strength out in the economy, at least for their customers. Costco, here's a trade that I have here on Costco. So, it's a was a little bit of a stretch when I entered it yesterday, trying to get that 50-50 uh, risk-reward. One-to-one -one ratio, and I had to stretch it out a little bit. That's the problem with these um, lower price stocks here. It's difficult to do the 50-50s, and you have to kind of stick your neck out to do it. So I stuck my neck out. Take a look at the Dow. It's still playing around with this uh, downward sloping trend line here. Still kind of messing around with it. I mean, you have to you have to admit it's not exactly following it, but yeah, you know, gold did not have a very good day yesterday, and we got a down PPS on it. Google. Uh, their earnings are tonight. That should be interesting. Pick a direction. Well, if we're looking at the current trend, I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at some past ones here. It's kind of a mixed bag looking at past earnings. Kind of a mixed bag. I wouldn't know which way to go. I might do a 50-50 on it, but I don't know. Just don't know. LinkedIn. What do we got going next week? Earnings. Not doing anything on that. All right. So now we get out of the earnings people and go to NDX. Here's that uh, 50 delta trade that I did on this. That would have been sweet. The 50 delta on with a five dollar spread means 250 dollars. I was looking out here to see if I wanted to do something a little bit further out on some of these cash indexes. I think I'm going to hang in there with what I'm doing right now with the 30 days out, at least on the SPX. We'll stick with that. But that trade, yeah, if it, at 50-50 uh, would be pushing a $250 gain because there's $5 spreads. So I'd be risking two fifty to make two fifty. Can you afford that? Eh, some people can afford that. All right, we had an alert on Netflix yesterday, and it didn't work out. The alert on Costco did. So I got in the Costco trade. I'm not gonna. Uh, we're still alertable on Netflix, I think. So I'm just gonna change it a little bit. Moved in. So I'm still interested in Netflix. I'm interested in looking at it. I'm not like committed to it or anything. And Priceline actually is a week and a half out. Well, it's two weeks now. One, two, uh, a little bit less than two weeks. Russell probably wouldn't do anything with that right now if the chart ever comes up um, 
Yeah, it's just uh, languishing. This uh, resistance here is holding. SPX, we are in that right now. Two simulated trades and one uh, live trade, which is should be working out okay so far. SPX, uh, actually down ten bucks. We got a little ways to go yet, though. It's a May four expiration. And last but not least is Tesla. which has earnings coming up and they got a nice pop something about a battery or something I don't know it's, so uh, it looks like their downward sloping trend line has been broken and pretty convincingly and I think we're going to be in a new uptrend here wow only 11 minutes are you kidding me okay well thanks to earnings season we got out a little bit early today well, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.